are digging deeper. A company gives an Eastern Iowa school district a new medical device free of charge. The company behind the DeChoker device claims it can save the lives of young choking victims. Well, we wanted to know if that was true. Can it save your child's life? KWW's Amanda Gilbert investigates for us tonight. She talked to medical experts to see just how safe the device is for children. For nurse Cheryl Wiebeck, student safety is a number one concern. In the Union Community School District hallways, you'll find life-saving EpiPens, AEDs, and now the DeChoker. It's a fairly new device inventor Alan Carver says can help save students who are choking by using it to dislodge anything in the throat. You put it into the mouth. Online he shows us how to use the plunger-like device. A little pressure here. Pull back once. The website makes bold claims saying that a choker is 99% risk-free and that it is so simple to use a child could use it. They also say that um, even if you're by yourself, if you have the device, you can use it on yourself. The inventor even emailing me, saying he's used the device on himself 300 times and has had no problems. Nurse Wiebeck says the company gave the district four to choker devices. That they would give them to us free of charge. All they wanted was some publicity. For now the school district says, of course, abdominal thrusts, also known as the Heimlich maneuver, would serve as the first go-to life-saving approach they'd use when someone is choking. But maybe the de choker could serve kind of as a backup in the rare occasion that the Heimlich might not work. But then we notice some red flags. For example, on the DeChoker website, it says that it is FDA registered. That means it's not yet FDA approved, something we noticed and the school noticed. Secondly, the DeChoker company admits its device has never undergone a live clinical trial. So I talked to two Iowa medical experts, Waterloo Medical Supervisor Jason Hernandez and Dr. David Stilley, who works for the Iowa Department of Public Health. You were the first person to draw my attention to the D-Choker. I'm involved with EMS on a daily basis. I had never heard of the device. Well, if someone's been offered this device free of charge, I would be very cautious about putting it into use for f until there's medical research to support its use. Probably not something that we would use on the ambulances um, or with Waterloo Fire. What I'm finding on the device is it's only been uh, utilized on cadavers and not actually live people. So I would have some reservations there. I probably wouldn't want it used on my kid, I guess. I would personally, if it were my own child in a school, I would be rather have a bystander doing their best with Heimlich Maneuver than to use an unproven medical technology. So we followed up with the Union School District and they listened to our interviews, deciding to hold off on using the device just yet. Or at least in the interim, I mean, I think those devices would be removed, you know, either sent back to the company or whatever until they can provide More. FDA approval with them. So again, I think the right things were, were worked through, but now you have some new information, you have to make a new decision. I did speak with the inventor of the DeChoker device on several occasions, and he says in about six months he will share a, quote, large sample clinical trial. Most studies at this point, he says, have been bench studies. He also claims that the DeChoker has saved 17 lives so far that he's aware of. Amanda Gilbert, News 7, KWWF.